Hi guys, so I am here to share with you, this is a much requested video, and I'm going to try to start doing these videos, guys. Um, if you guys want to see something in my craft room, I'm going to try to start doing it. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Um, right now I am major job hunting, so it's really affected my crafting. I'm trying to get things together um, and also get a job, pretty stressed out, like things are just, ah, uh, you know what I mean? So I haven't been able to spend as much time in this craft room. Today I am going to try to do a live video for you guys. And this would be Tuesday the 3rd. So let's hope I can get this done today because I need to get a package out tomorrow. So I am determined to do that. Anyways, enough of me jabbering. Everybody has been asking me about my junk journal collection. I'm like, you're, oh my gosh, you got so many junk journals and... A few albums and I want to see them so this has been a much requested video and I thought I would share it with you guys some of these books um, I do want to say this right off the bat some of these were trades I have traded and I will tell you what I when I get to that book like um, this was for a challenge or I swapped with this girl and she got one from me also. So I will keep you guys updated on where they come from, who they came from. I will give credit to whoever has made these. So let's get into it, guys. This first one comes from Lindsay Zenor, Z-E-N-O-R, and I purchased this off of her Etsy shop. The reason I purchased this off of her, my lighting is horrible. I'm trying to figure it out in here, guys. It's just been, oh, not the greatest, but oh, well, we'll get there. Anyways, the reason I purchased this is because she does lots of sewing on her books, and I was just so curious on how she done it. So I purchased it to get ideas, and, and I, I kind of inspired by her because... She does lots of journals. Her and I'm a cool mom. I'm trying to. Hopefully someday I'll have a journal from I'm a cool mom. I love her journals. So hopefully someday I will have one from her. Um, I really love her journals. I entered her um, Dollar Tree Challenge hoping maybe, you know, you never know. I might win. I don't know. Probably not. But this is just a mini and she's done lots of sewing. And the reason I purchased this look. She sews her signatures into the book. I think that is just amazing. So it is, again, just a mini. And this is something that I carried in my purse for a while because everybody asked me what a junk journal was. So I carried this in my purse to show everybody what a junk journal was. Um, so, Lindsay, a lot of people in my town seen your junk journal and thought it was amazing um i made a few for a couple people because of showing them this um so yeah she's got me a couple orders and a few new subbies from this little journal i took the card class and my people at the card class loved it so yeah she has inspired some people around here so she's done stenciling and spraying and coffee paper and I just love the ideas of her book and on the back of them she always puts nevermore creations and that's her shop name I think so there is that one and then I have another mini and this one is from shawcraft one and this one was gifted to me in my birthday challenge. Mine and Brittany's birthday challenge. So this one, it has a little dangle on the side. A little crystal. Very pretty. I love, and I'm actually working on a junk journal right now. Sneak peek for Shawcraft one. So that's awesome. We did a swap. And you'll see the journal that she swapped with me. So I'm just going to go through these kind of quickly, guys. Because I don't want this video to be like uber long this one is very cute she's done lots of different crinkling of the paper stamps different pockets um lace and safety pins and i've got inspired also by her by like doing the 
um, paper clips and some of the the way she uses book pages and just different things you know I have used off of different people and I try to give credit to who has um, inspired me to do that like I said Lindsay has inspired me to do the sewing and so has I'm a cool mom and I'm a cool mom I've got from her the uh, unicorn dyed paper and She's just amazing. I love her. So this is the second one. And that's, I don't have a lot of minis, guys. That's all the minis I have. I do have a couple Traveler's Notebooks. And these come from starting over. They both do. And I will show you both of them. And just simple Traveler's Notebooks. And I use this one right now. So this one does have some writing in it. And you know, just, I love how she's done pink, because I love pink. And you see, I write my swaps and stuff in here. Um, and then over here, it's got some blank paper. And then here, it's got an actual calendar, which I use for my, this is strictly YouTube book. And then here, she's got more blank paper. I love how she's done so much blank paper and lined paper because I can use this for a while. And all these have little tuck spots where I can write things on there and stuff it down in there or whatever. So I use this one. And then this one I just think is super duper gorgeous. Look at the fall leaves, you guys. And I'm actually going to be working on a traveler's notebook that is fall themed for next month. So I'm excited about that. I love how she's done the cluster of flowers and leaves there. She's done the felt inside. And then here she's got blank white paper. Okay, and then these are pockets, of course. And then here she has graph paper. Obviously pockets. Pocket here. Ah, uh, maybe. So there's a pocket there. And then I love how she done this one. This one is used coffee dyed paper. I love coffee dyed paper. It's one of my favorite things to use. So she's done coffee dyed paper for me. So that's awesome. So this is just uh, another traveler's notebook. And those both come from starting over. Let me scoot these down so it's not all up in the camera. Alright, now on to the big ones, guys. The first one I will do, I'm just going to start this way and work my way down. The first one comes to us from Shawl Craft One, and this thing was super duper big. It is super fat. There's no way I'll be able to show you guys all of this. It has a tassel on the side. There is a video up of this. There's a video up of all of these albums if you want to see them in more detail. I will kind of flip through real quick, but you guys, it's super big and it would take me I have not took any of the goodies out of here yet let me zoom this up a little bit I didn't want my face to be in the camera today but yeah oh well and freshly waking up but this video was requested and I figured I would do it before I got busy for the day she's done lots of stuff throughout this guys I mean, like I said, lots of verses. I love how she does that. And I'm pretty sure that's three signatures, yes. Lots of goodies throughout the pockets. Lots of awesome paper, embossing, stamping. It is just uber big. And then she even, back here, put me a cup of hot chocolate from my caramel coffee so thank you okay so that is that one that one is huge you guys it is super huge I have a couple that are really big actually as this next one is I'm gonna wait and do that one kind of last because I just received that one this one comes to us from Miss um, Lisa Vargas and I do believe this was Miss Lisa Vargas's first junk journal. And she done an amazing job on this. She's got a little dangle on the side. And so cool because I love little tiny dangles. 
and I'll just do a quick flip through like I did with the rest. Just a little pocket. And like I said, there's detailed videos on every one of these journals. If you go through, I'm going to try to make a playlist, you guys. I'm going to try to get it together so it can be all of my junk journal videos. So this one has three signatures, I think. Two or three. She's done them a little. Very cute. She's got lots of goodies. And like I said, I haven't took any of the goodies out of here yet. I just... I don't know. I will eventually. I've got to try to get all these done in 30 minutes, guys. So I'm probably not going to go through every single one. The next one... Oh, that's an album. This one was from Reused Muse, and this is her altered books, and she does altered book. I think that she sent me this in a challenge, I do believe. I love the tassel on the side. I love all the fibers, you guys. And she has just took and altered the book, glued things in, um... It did have lots of goodies in it. I did take the goodies out of this one. That's how long I've had this one for a minute. That I took all the goodies out. And it's just, she's went through and altered this for me. I was always telling her that I loved, loved, loved her books and stuff. And so I do believe this was for our birthday challenge or some challenge that I had. And she sent in this, and I was honored to have it from her. She's put a big C. So, yeah, she's done this for me, and I love it, and I will cherish it like I do the rest of my stuff from everybody. Um, next we have, and I don't know if you guys call these a smash book, since they have the crimping on the side or what, but this has a charm, and this one is from Christina Morris. She done a little chunky charm for me. Now this one is super duper big too. And look how she's put my name on the front. And this was not for... No. We done a swap. Me and her done a swap. And she also got a book for me. That's right. This was not the birthday challenge. So she's done crimp, the crimp thing. And she's awesome crafter, you guys. Um, she does some really neat stuff. Um... There's a video up on this one. There's a video up on all of these. I don't... I'm just trying to tell you the names. Christina Morris. And if you look up Christina Morris, swap with Christina Morris, I'm sure it'll pop up. Because I try to label them. Pretty good. This one is just so cute. And I want to use this. And I do believe they call this one a smash book. Because of it being the crimps. But I'm not real sure, but I love it, and I want to use it eventually. And I love how she done the letter in here. It's like a torn piece of paper, and she's typewritered on it. So cute. So that was the next one. Okay. Next, we have Me and Miss Donna Dreams times three done a unicorn junk journal swap. That's what I said, you guys. I've done lots of swaps with people. Oh, if I can get this off of here now. I think I tied it in a knot. There it goes. Well, maybe. Anyways, I have done lots of swaps with people for junk journals. So, um, this was a swap. She also received a unicorn junk journal back from me. Love the images. And I love the flowers. Donna always uses beautiful flowers and digital prints and stuff. So she's done it. It's all unicorn, guys. And I'm working on another unicorn book for me in, um, oh my gosh. Miss Liz. I'm so sorry, Liz. Oh my god, my brain is like not with it this morning. So just lots of unicorn paper and cut aparts and she's got some goodies in there. Again, I haven't took many of the goodies out of here. I have took a few, though. Just because I made copies of a few things in here. She's made paper clips that I can color. I was going to have my daughter color that in. 
I totally forgot about it when they were here because we were so busy with everything that I forgot. Get another clip up there. I this is where I got my idea of my book pages and stuff. Donna also inspired me. Donna does some amazing crafts too, and Miss Donna, I don't know if you're watching this or not, but I can't wait to swap with you again. So let me know. I love swapping with Miss Donna. She's beautiful um, scrapbooker and just crafter in general. She's just awesome. So I love how she made the little books. So I'll tie that back after I get done. All right. In this one, Brittany has, I think, two mini junk journals. She doesn't have very many because she doesn't do a lot of crafting. This one came from uh, Starting Over. And she done these for our birthday challenge, I do believe. I'm pretty sure it was the birthday challenge, yes. And I love how she's done the lace on these. But these are mini books also. And I love how she's used, I don't know if it's, I think it's a digital print. But these are lots of writing spaces, and that's awesome. She does have pockets. Lots of writing spots and coffee dyed paper and lined paper, little bags. So she's done lots of journaling in this, so I would love to eventually use this book too. I want to use them all, guys. Hopefully someday I will get to. I am using one right now, and I will show you that one if I have time in this video. I am using the one that Miss Dana had sent me. I will speed this up, guys, because it is getting super long. Me and Miss Stacy Conkle, this is the very first junk journal swap we done, and it was a coffee-themed junk journal. She's got some dangles on here. I love them. Look at all the clusters of flowers. This was me and Miss Dana's first, or Miss Dana, Miss Stacy Conkle's first junk journal swap, and it was coffee-themed. She also has a coffee-themed journal from me. So she's again in this, done a book, and she's done lots of journaling spots in here. She has lots of goodies. Look how pretty, you guys. It's very, very pretty. There's also videos up on this, as there is all of them. I'm just going to kind of quickly go through this. It's very beautiful, guys. Um, like I said, there's a detailed video. I'm just trying to get my junk journal collection all in one video y'all it's very pretty i love how she's done this she's done an amazing job love all the book pages how she's got them upright i just love that it's like she's ripped the book and put it in there i don't know it's really nice how she's done this and then she signed it so that was from the lovely stacy conkle Love it. Next, I have from the lovely Nicole Rodriguez. Me and her done a swap for a shabby sheet um, junk journal. And this one, she also received one from me. There's a video up on her channel. Look how gorgeous. I love it. She's got lots of dangles. This is also, Nicole Rodriguez is also another amazing scrapbooker and slash crafter. She's got some dangles here too. She's just done a beautiful job on this. Beautiful pockets. And again, I'm going to quickly go, quickly go through it because I have a few more to do. She's done lots of writing spots in here too. She's got a waterfall for pictures, book pages, it's very, very pretty. We done shabby chic for this one, so that's where you're getting the shabby chic slash vintage look. She's put lots of goodies in here, and I have not took any of them out, except for the envelope that was here. I don't, and see, she's done lots of writing spots. Very beautiful book. Lots of envelopes. 
she's done lots of stamping throughout here. She's got a belly band back here with some more goodies. Look how beautiful. I just love it. Love, love, love it. And then me and Nicole Rodriguez had done a swap. This was previous to that junk journal for an album. And she also got an album, a cereal box album. That's what this is made out of, is a cereal box album. That was our first swap. And then our sw second swap was a Shabby Chic slash Vintage Junk Journal. So this was our first swap. I should have showed this first, but I didn't show. Al I'm showing you albums now. I have one junk journal left. And I love the way she's done this. Like, it is gorgeous, you guys. I have not took any of the goodies out of this one either. I try not to until I use the book. Very cute. I love how she's tied. See the tags and everything still in here. I love how she's tied everything up with the twine. Isn't it beautiful? I love the chunky little charms on the side. Super duper gorgeous. And I love how she's got all of this hanging. I should have showed you this first. You guys just, I'm not going to open this. There is a detailed video I just done yesterday on this one. This stick come from Stacy Conkle. And this is the whole reason that I'm doing this video is because of this book. Somebody had seen this and they're like, oh my gosh, how many junk journals do you have? That's why I did this video. So if you guys would like to see a detailed video on this one, it's super heavy. There's no way I can show all this. It's huge, guys. So if you want to see that, go check it out. Also have an album from Miss Judy Parker, which Judy, I'm working on it, girl. It does lots of flips and stuff. I'm not going to get into detail as to what all it does. Like, it flips down up. I'm not going to get into detail. I will flip through it and show you. It does have lots of things and do lots of stuff. But I'm trying to get this video up to where it's not an hour long. Super duper pretty. Let me just flip over and out. And I'm having a hard time with figuring out how to make these journals. And I know you guys are probably like, what? You are having a hard time? Yes, I am. And this is a waterfall. This is one thing that I don't think I'm good at is making albums. I'm trying to get better, but I just don't think I'm good at it, guys. And then last but not least, oh, this fell out of this book. Oh, no, I'm going to show you the journal that I'm working on right now. This one came from Miss Dana, who has lived to learn here. And I am actually using this. I have put pictures and done stuff in here. So maybe I will do a more detailed... Um, on this when I'm done with it because I'm not quite done with it yet it's got stuff in there from my kids but I love how she's done that doily but this is a gorgeous book and I would get into detail with it but it's being used right now so I would like to show you guys when I can show you everything to it you know what I mean so Dana done this and I just love it this is a seven gypsy junk journal so that was we done a seven gypsy swap so I'm going to eventually show this finished and it will be labeled um seven gypsy um finished journal or something like that so keep an eye out for it guys it will be on there I'm never gonna get it back in there right until okay the last album that I received and I was so honored to have this and I still feel like my project is not good enough she loved it she was all in over it and I'm ecstatic about that but um Andrea Stevers made me one of her albums and you guys it is gorgeous like I was honored to have this because I know people pay big money for these 
And so I am honored to have this, and I am excited that you liked the one I sent you as well. But here is the journal, and you or the album, guys. She used graphic 45 paper for this, and she has a chunk charm on the side. It is super gorgeous. I love it it's not too big and all the clusters of flowers here I love these foam flowers I actually just ordered some this book has it's so hard to show in here a waterfall here there is a detailed video you guys on this if you would like to go check it out but I will flip through real quick to show you like I have been and it's gorgeous. They all the sides come out for photos. There's so many spots in here for photos. Like, if you guys want to see a detailed video, go check it out, guys. It is awesome. This book is amazing. And I in that video show every part and everything in this book. But go check it out. It's awesome video, guys. I love this album, Andrea. And I am going to cherish it, and I'm going to try to use it, but it's I'm going to hoard it for a minute. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm going to hoard it for a minute. So, Andrea, I can't wait for our next swap. So, maybe at Christmas time, we can do a swap then. So, guys, this was a much-requested video. I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you would like to see anything in my craft room, like... Say you want to see my Gorgeous Girl collection, um, my flower collection, stamps, dyes, anything like that, and washi tape or whatever, leave a comment down below and I will try to, every week, maybe go through and randomly pick something and do it. So I think this will be fun to kind of show you guys my collection, how I stay am staying organized. And what's going on with me over here. So I'm hoping to get back in the live videos here soon. Right now I just have a lot going on in live videos. I just don't have enough time to sit down and do it right now. The crafting I am doing is to get stuff out because I'm behind on things. So until my next video guys, I will talk to you later. I love you guys all. Thanks for supporting me. Um, I'm at 532 subscribers. Once we hit 550, we will be doing another giveaway. But it will be once um, this challenge that I have going on right now is over. Because I want that to be over before I do the 550 subby challenge. So, till my next video guys. Everybody take care. Thanks for supporting me. And until next time, bye bye.